Hello everybody and thank you for tuning in. I'm your host Elizabeth and I'll be showing you how to make these no sew, easy to make, fun and fast bow ties for just about a dollar and fifty cents. Yes, a dollar and fifty cents. These are great gift ideas for your uncle, for your nephew, for your toddler, for your teenager, for your neighbor. Let's get started. What we'll need is a paper bag, scissors, pens, glue gun, velcro, and this velcro here that I purchased, I got it at the Dollar Tree for, you guessed it, one dollar. Also we'll need a measuring tape, some fabric, and this piece of fabric here that I purchased was pre-cut. It's a quarter piece, it's an 18 inch by 21 inch, and I bought this for 97 cents at Walmart. They have a variety of colors, and you'll really enjoy using this pre-cut piece and also a ribbon. This ribbon I also purchased at Walmart. You'll need a 3 8 of an inch and I actually got a solid color. Uh, it's best that you don't choose a lace or anything sheer. We want to go ahead with something that's pretty durable. So go ahead and pick uh, that item up also at Walmart. Alrighty, well let's get started on our next step. Go ahead and take your paper bag, open it as wide as you can and as long as you can. We're going to go ahead and cut the dimensions that we need for this. Now this is the dimensions for the actual bow. It's a 10 by 5 inch. So we want to go ahead and get that cut on our paper bag. And also we want to do an 18 by 1 and a half inch. Um, also for what wraps around um, that will, will hold the tie um, around the collar. So if you have a um, person that has a bigger uh, neck size, you want to go ahead and make that longer, okay? And then also a 3 by 2 inch. This will actually wrap around the bow to keep it together. So let's go ahead and get that cut and we'll move on to the next step. Let's go ahead and open your fabric. It will actually come folded. Leave it folded like that because what we're going to need once we pin this onto the fabric, we're going to need two of these pieces. Again, this will hold your bow firmer and give it a better shape. So we need two of these pieces. And we also want to utilize the fabric as uh, much as possible because we want to go ahead and be able to have enough room to cut another uh, bow to make two bows or you can make four depending on the thickness of the actual bow that you want to make. So let's go ahead and get this pinned and cut and move on to the next step. Now the best part of this is we don't have to sew anything but we will be folding. What we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and take our longer piece of fabric. Now I only have one piece that's showing here, but we actually need two of these pieces and we need them aligned up pretty good. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and fold it at each end. And each particular piece that we have is going to need to be folded on each side. So let's go ahead and take this piece and fold it to the side. Our next segment, I'll go ahead and show you how a piece that um, has two pieces together is folded. So go ahead and make a fold on this side and a fold on this side. Now this is what it's going to look like here. You might get an uneven piece here, but that's okay as long as it's not too far off. So here's the other side as well. So go ahead and do those folds on that side. And once you once you finish that, we're going to go ahead and fold it again. So here is the open piece. We're going to go ahead and fold it on each side inward. And we do want a small overlap here. So make sure you do have that overlap. And also to get it nice and firmly pressed, go ahead and use an iron. So we want a nice small overlap, not too far. Um, over, but just a nice one where we have about, um, this looks like about three inches, um, and you'll start to see your bow actually um, start to form. So let's move on to the next segment. Once that's completed, we want to go ahead and fold it again. So let's go ahead and fold it halfway down the middle here. So that way you'll see that our actual bow is getting shaped here. So 
um, you can actually measure the center where you'll actually have your fold. I kind of just look at it and eyeball it a little bit, but you want to go ahead and make sure that this fold is perfectly aligned and also that you don't have too much fabric over here because your bow, you'll be able to see that. So let's go ahead and get that folded. Once we're done with that, we're finished with the folding process on this particular item. We'll move on to the next one. What we're going to do here is um, the longer piece here that we have, we're also going to fold the sides of it too. So let's go ahead and get that folded on each side as well. Once you have that piece folded, again, we want to go ahead and fold it down the middle as well, just like we did with the other piece. We do want a small overlap, but just so that you know why I wanted this folded on this side, it's going to keep it from fraying. Um, you don't want to use chemicals or anything like that or glue or anything like that. It's easier just to do a small fold and go ahead and fold this all the way down and just do a nice overlap. We want to try and do it as centered as possible. So if you need the iron to guide you on that, let's go ahead and get that done. Once you've completed that fold, we're actually done with that specific item. We want to go ahead and take the smaller piece here and fold the sides as well. And we're going to do the same process. We're going to go ahead and fold this here down the middle and do the same exact process as we did folding the other items. And this will actually go around um, the actual bow. So let's go ahead and fold the sides, fold this down, and just apply some pressure on that. Iron it if you need to. Once that's completed, we want to go ahead and we're going to start with this longer piece here so it can be ready to go. We want to take this and we want to apply a little bit of glue here because we want to seal that here. We don't want that to keep moving. And we want to do it on both ends. So let's go ahead and place some glue at each end um, of uh, the actual tie. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, just apply a generous amount. Don't overdo it. The glue is very hot. Once you're done with that, we want to go ahead and take our ribbon and we want to start gluing it all the way down the middle. We want to close that seal. I should say seam. Uh, we want to go ahead and close that. So glue it as best as you can over that seam because again, that's going to begin to fray. We don't want that to happen. So go ahead and glue it all the way down and this this ribbon piece here is going to be the same length as the 18 inches so just in case I didn't mention it before um, it's just the same length as the actual tie as well so let's go ahead and do that and move on now once that's been completed we want to go back to our actual bow and we want to start applying a generous amount of glue just to go ahead and seal this part here and we want to go ahead and seal this together as close as possible. Don't use a lot of glue. We need this center to be as flexible as possible because this is where we're going to start pinching our fabric to start looking like our bow if you can see that here. So let's go ahead and glue all that stuff together. Once you've completed that and applied a generous amount of glue, you don't you want to make sure that it's not too hard here. Okay? And then just going back to this piece here, we want to go ahead and, and glue that top right here on both sides. And it's okay if the middle remains open, but um, we don't want too much glue on this part right here. And again, you should have your other piece completed and ready to go as well. So once you've glued this here, you want to go ahead and start pinching it. Um, so what you want to do is you want to take your two thumbs and just do a mild pinch here and then another pinch right up at the top. And what you want to make sure is you want to make sure you have enough material um, on each side for this particular um, uh, bow. And so once you look at your bow and you start shaping it, and this is the reason why you want two pieces of fabric here, because this um, is a little bit more uh, 
durable. Um, if you have just one piece, it's not going to work out. And you can actually even spray a little bit of starch on here. So I'm liking that little shape here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a little bit of glue in the middle. And then as I turn it around in the back, I'm going to go ahead and apply some glue to seal that as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that started. Okay, and this is what your bow should look like. It should be glued on the back, these two pieces here, and glued a little bit at the front. Okay, what we're going to go ahead and do is glue our next piece. And this piece is just going to go right over the actual bow here. Now we want to make sure this is tight and also we want to make sure that it overlaps in the middle here. Now what I've done in the past is I've made it this way and also another way. What I've done here is I've actually went ahead and taken my piece here and what I do is I fold it right down the middle so I know what my center is. And so what I've done in the past is I've taken uh, the actual uh, tie of it and I've actually placed it in the middle. And then I've actually glued it together at the same time. So if you want to go ahead and do that, that way you can. Or you can just go ahead glue the center here and then what you can do is then glue the piece over it like so. I tend to feel it's more secure once you go ahead and pull that through and glue that. And, and if this doesn't come out good, don't worry about it because if you get the seam closer to here, you can just flip the tie over and have that seam be at the bottom. So. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's go ahead and take that piece. Um, you don't want to put any glue in the middle right here. It will show, but just apply a generous amount. And let's go ahead and pull that together. So I went ahead and applied the glue um, and put that together. So I put the seam as close as to the middle as possible. And I did put my uh, tie right underneath that so there is the actual bow tie really coming together and so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start putting our adhesive velcro on here now make sure you do it the right way I've done it wrong in the past so go ahead and on the outside of this part go ahead and put three dots here, uh, adhesive dots here. And then on the opposite side, go ahead and put three dots on the inside. So that way when you close this, um, it'll get shut very easily. So let's go ahead and do that step. Now once you've done that, um, I've actually applied a generous amount of glue on the actual um, adhesive here um, and it's held uh, very very well. Well that's it. That's the project here. This is your very uh, fast and easy bow tie that you can enjoy. And again you also might want to uh, spray some Scotch Guard on it just depending on who's going to be wearing it. Um, my uh, son wears these all the time and he likes to get a bunch of food on it and so spraying Scotchgard and uh, some starch on it has really allowed it to keep its shape. You don't want to wash these, you just kind of want to spot wash these um, and um, they'll last um, a lot longer. So hopefully you enjoy and we'll see you next time. Thanks again. Bye.